Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use standby mode on your iPhone. This is a new iOS 17 feature, so if you haven't updated to the new iOS, make sure you are at iOS 17 or beyond. And once you've done that, go ahead and go to your settings app, which is the gear icon. And then once you're here, you want to scroll down until you see something here that says standby. So click on standby and you need to make sure that it is enabled by checking the box there at the very top. So if you enable it, it's green and you can see that the display set is to always on. I would recommend keeping that to always on. And then I like night mode, but if you click into here, you can disable that. Uh, you can kind of play around with those settings and see which one fits your needs the best. I'd leave everything kind of the same here until you see what it looks like. Now, once you've enabled standby mode, go ahead and close out of your settings app. The next thing that you want to do is put your iPhone to sleep or power it off, not completely, uh, but you want to just go ahead and put it to sleep and you want to set it somewhere on a stand or on your nightstand and you want to put it in landscape mode. Now, there is a problem where if you have, if you swipe down and bring up your control center on your iPhone, you'll see the landscape lock right there. It's the little circle with an arrow and it's got a lock, a little unlock there. Uh, if that is enabled right there where the portrait orientation lock is on, uh, standby mode will not work. So make sure that's disabled and not turned on. And then go ahead and put your device into standby mode. So here we are. I've put it on my stand and I've left it alone and I also have it plugged in. Now, as you can see, it says welcome to standby. Very helpful widgets, showcase your favorite photos. It's basically going to be kind of like act as an alarm clock. And now we just go ahead and tap the blue continue button here. And as you can see, the general features here is going to be an analog clock uh, over to the left hand side and a calendar on the right. Now, if we wanted to, we could swipe to the right here and we can unlock to view photos. We could swipe back here to the left. Or what we could do is we could just go ahead and hold down on something, type in our passcode, um, and it's going to allow us to edit and rearrange all of these widgets that are going to be on our standby mode. So if you don't want the calendar and you want the weather, you can do that there. You can have your calendar, you can have your reminders, but let's just say we want the weather. We just tap into that and select the weather, choose your location, and go ahead and tap done when you're ready to go. Now, if you want to, we can even add a new widget by tapping on the addition symbol in the upper left hand corner and we can go ahead and we can choose different widgets. Let's say we want to do photos. So we'll click on photos here. We want to add the photos widget. And as you can see, we can tap done. And as you can see, we now have a nice little clock to the left hand side and we have the widget over there to the right. Now, it will kind of filter through different colors as you saw the red there. Now we're back to white uh, and all of these images will scroll and you can also go ahead and scroll up and down to see the other widgets that are added to the side right there. And it'll act kind of like a digital slideshow as the images will continue to cycle through over and over. So again, you would just need to tap hold down and then type in your passcode if you have one. This will then allow you to rearrange and add all of your widgets. Now, if you wanted to, the widget suggestions feature is off right now. I can tap into that and turn that on and it'll allow the iOS to uh, basically suggest widgets that it thinks that I would find most useful. But once you're done and you've changed and rearranged all of the widgets that you want, make sure you go ahead and tap done. Now, if you want to remove something you've added, you can just go to it here and tap in the minus symbol and it'll say remove remove reminders widget and I'm going to say yes I want to remove that go ahead and tap on done and as you can see uh, the reminders widget is removed but that's how you set up and use the new standby mode on iOS 17 and your iPhone if you have any questions please put those in the question if you have any questions please put those in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe if this helped you out and I will see you guys in the next video